He's telling me, good morning, it's time to get up and check on the animals and feed them. Last night, Woo. here in North Carolina. Hey, baby. Come on. Clyde ain't sure about this snow. He's like, I'm not sure about this. Yeah. He's like, I'm not sure. I'm not coming out this crap, mama. Hey, guys. Hey, how are you? Okay. Chickens are out. I'm not sure if they know if they want to get out in this snow or not. Yeah, I don't know how to act. This is their first snow, too. It ain't snowed here in a while like this. Well, since it's cold outside, we're going to make a good old pot of soup. Succotash soup is what I call it. So, what I'm going to use is four cans of tomato, okra, and corn, four cans of buttered double succotash, two cans of the diced tomatoes with green chili. You can use regular diced tomatoes if you'd like. And I also use two cans of the tomato sauce regular tomato sauce next I just pour it all together in one big old pot just like this then I'm going to add three pounds of hamburger meat since it's such a big pot I'm going to add two spoons of butter then I'm just going to let it cook on medium to it boils for about maybe an hour it's starting to come together y'all all right guys one hour later and been cooking on medium high stirring it stirring it, stirring it and uh it's time to eat nothing like a good old bowl of soup on a snowy day to feed your tummy up well guys since i'm stuck in the house and it's snowy outside i really don't want to get out there after i done fed the animals and everything so what i'm going to do is I am going to put me some pot soil here and I'm going to plant me some basil. Now what I did is just put the soil on there. I'm just going to take it and push the dirt in each hole to make sure that each hole is full. Now the last eight, I'm not going to put nothing in. I'm just going to do the eight top that has the soil in it. Well, I made a mess, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and just push down just a little bit, not all the way to the bottom. And this helps me out so I can just place the seeds just right there in the little holes. I'm going to do this to all eight. Now look how tiny these little basil seeds are. And I'm just going to take just a couple of them and put them in each hole. After placing the seeds, I'm just going to cover them up very gently. Now I am going to give them a little bit of water and after I'm done, I'm going to sit them out in the sun. Alright guys, well since it's just a snowy day outside, I just decided to go through some things that I had and I found this bench that my husband got me about 2-3 or three years ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean it up and I'm going to set my plants on it. So I cleaned it up and I set my plants on it. It does need a paint job but for right now it's perfect and it sets them perfectly. What do y'all think? It's cute. Alright guys, it's like the fourth day. And I see a little bud. See, that's the only one that's uh, growing just yet. But didn't take long, did it? All right, it's day eight, and I have some great basil sprouting. So they look really good. So I decided to sow some tomato seeds. And I got some green bell peppers, sweet bell peppers. I'm going to try some orange seeds 
I don't know how well that's going to go. I got some banana peppers going. And the one over here that doesn't have any sign to it, those are going to be apple seeds. And the empty spots, I'm going to save for later. Y'all, I also wanted to show y'all the roses that I cut and dipped in rooting powder. They're doing so good. Look at them. There, look, you can see the thorn and all the new growth. This is the parsley I had from last spring. It's still growing beautiful, and I still have it on my back porch. A couple of weeks ago, my husband's grandmother passed away, and on her grave, she had some white roses. So I took one off there, and I brought it home, cut it, and put some root powder on it, and I'm doing it just like the rest of them. So I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that this one right here grows. And I, all I did is uh, cut, put root powder on it, cut one of these Mountain Dew bottles, stuck it on top just like the rest of them, and... Um, if the other ones are growing, I don't know why this one wouldn't. So I'm just, like I said, crossing my fingers. This one is new as well. This is a pink rose. My daughter had got me this, and it's so pretty. So I decided to do the same thing as I did with the rest of the roses. And um, I just set it outside with that cut Mountain Dew bottle. And uh, still looks green, looks pretty. Well, that's the end of my video, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed watching. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you ain't already. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.